we're going to look at situations where things either increase or decrease by a percentage. Consider this scenario. If we have a shirt that costs 150 and the price is increased by 20%, we want to know how much the shirt costs now. We've got two ways of doing it and I'm going to show you these two ways and you can decide which you prefer. So, in the first way, first way, we look at what the amount of the increase is. Um, and that we know it's 20% of the 150. That's how much the price goes up by. We know how to work out 20% of 150. It's just 20 over 100 multiplied by 150. And we can do a bit of cancelling to make that easier for ourselves. And so we get the answer of 30. So we know that this the price of the shirt goes up by 30 rand. So what will the new cost be? Well, we've got to take the original cost and add on the 30 rand and we'll get 180 rand. Now, the second method is quite interesting. What we do in the second method is we say, all right, the, the shirt, the whole price of the shirt, that's 100% of the shirt. And if it increases by 20%, it means that the new percentage is going to be 120% of what we started with. And so now all we have to do to get the new cost is to work out 120% of 150. And this is going to be the same way we've always worked out a percent, like this, 120 over 100 multiplied by 150. Again, let's do a bit of cancelling to make things easier. We've got to do 12 times 15 and we will get 180 and so the new cost is going to be 180 rand and we have a very similar story if we're talking about the price coming down so if we had a shirt that cost 150 and I got a 20% discount I want to know how much I paid I'm talking about taking 20% off the price so the amount of the, the we got again can do it in these two different ways. In the first way, it's very similar. We're going to just work out the amount of the discount. So we know the amount of our discount was 20% of 150. And we just worked that out, right? So we know that that is 30 Rand. So the difference here is that what I want to do is I need to take that away, that 30 Rand away from the original to get my new price. Okay, the second method, same idea as before, except this time your discount means things are going to come down. So the whole price of the shirt was 100%. We get a 20% discount, so we take 20% from the 100% and we get 80%. 100% minus 20% gives me 80%. So the new price is going to be 80% of the original price and how do we work that out as we always have we do this and we do a bit of cancelling and we have to say 8 times 15 and 8 times 15 gives me 120 and I've got my answer so whenever we have a scenario where we're talking about the price either increasing or decreasing by a percentage you can choose either of these two methods to use